imagine you type a line and Google anti-gravity instantly start to writing it. And before that finishes, you can start with another task. Now two AI agents are coding in parallel for you. While those two agents are working, you can create an another agent also. This isn't the future, this is the anti-gravity. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what anti-gravity is and why so many of them is calling it as new AI coding standard and how you can use it to build a complete web app extremely fast. It feels like Google took everything from developers loves and it is combined with Gemini 3 Pro and it created something that feels like supercharged AI. So let's get into the video and see how the anti-gravity is. So this is what Google anti-gravity is. In this Google anti-gravity, they have AI powered editors, background agents, code based understanding and even they have the browser use so that agent is able to use the Chrome. And then they have the visual artifacts so that the agents can able to take the screenshot or the videos of it, which is working in the browser. And then you can able to see that visualization here. Even you can able to give the visual feedback, just dragging and giving the command. So let's see how it's working. So let me click on this download. Let me download for Apple Silicon. Now we have to do the setup. Let me click on next. It's asking to choose the setup flow. So let me start from the fresh and I need to choose the editor theme. Let me choose the dark theme. And next here is asking me, how do you want to use the anti-gravity agent? You can choose among this option. Here I'm going to choose with agent assisted development. So it is showing me as a recommended one. So if I choose an app like this, it's asking me for the two things, terminal execution policy and review policy. Uh, let me give it as an auto and coming to the review policy, the agent decides. Uh, you can choose whether you should always uh, proceed or uh, you need a request review or or you can choose up with agent decides okay so let me give the next here i need to sign in with google okay now it's asking me to whether uh, we can open the anti-gravity app so let me give it as open anti-gravity dot app now let me click on next here we get the interface something like this uh, we open up with the interface which is like a vs code editor and here uh, you can choose uh, which model should use here we have a bunch of uh, models uh, from here we can able to choose whichever model we want uh, we have a gemini 3 pro gemini 3 pro low claude and chat here i'm going to use with the gemini 3 pro high it will be asking uh, with uh, two conversion mode whether it should be in a plan planning are fast. So coming to the planning, so the agent can plan before executing the task which is given by us. So it will use for a deep research complex job or any other collaborative task. And coming to the fast, uh, this agent will execute the prompt of directly. It uses the simple text so that can be completed faster. So based on the requirement, you can choose the conversion mode. So here I'm going to choose with the planning. And then uh, at the top, I can able to see the open agent manager. So let me click on it. So it's taking me to that agent manager uh, interface. Okay, here we get uh, some of the messages. So in the agent manager, start agents on a task like deep research, long running and background. So you can monitor the progress of multi agents. Here comes the agent manager interfaces. In this agent manager interfaces, we can able to create the multiple agents to tackle the different task. Okay, so that can be done in the agent manager. So that is what it's mentioned here. So let me click on next. So now we need to start the new conversation. So before that, let me create a uh, workspace. So in order to create the workspace, I'm just going over the open. Let me click on it and let me create the new workspace. I have created the new workspace is here with the name of travel planner. And here, as I have already said about the planning and also about the model. And here you can give the prompt, which is necessary to you. Okay, here I have provided with the prompt. Here we are going to build a travel itinerary planner app. So here I have a specified with the app must have a search bar at the top. The user can search for a hotel or location and they need to provide with the check-ins and check-out dates. Based on the location, you should generate a complete itinerary. Okay, so let me click on send and let's see how it's work. It started the project planning and defines the core functionality which is needed for the app and it formulate the project architecture and plan the design implementation. Uh, if you click on this eye icon, 
uh, then it will follow along with an agent. Here you can find the two things that is the implementation plan and task. In the implementation plan, uh, it will tell you all the plan that is required for building that uh, the travel itinerary plan app. Here you can see the goal description and project structure, components, data layer, verification plans. Coming to the task, it's showing up all the necessary tasks that is needed to build the app. Okay, here we have some messages. I have drafted a plan to build your travel itinerary planner since I don't have access to live travel APIs. Um, I will use high quality mockup data for demonstration. So please review the plan. It's just asking me to review the plan. So let me give it as proceed. And let's uh, wait for a few minutes. Here you can see the one by one the task has been completed. And here it's asking me the another thing, uh, installing dependency and setting up project structure. Here it's asking me to send the input uh, command. So let me click on accept. Uh, meanwhile, we can create the new task. Here we can give the prompt to create a new fab icon or the app image uh, as it is integrated with the nano banana. So it can be able to generate the image also. So I need a fab icon image for this app please suggest me some of the images okay so let me see uh, meanwhile it's developing or uh, we can able to create the uh, image uh, that is fav icon image for this particular app here it started to designing the fav icons here we can see it's generated the image so from this image we can choose one of the image just see the app is under development meanwhile we have given the another prompt in order to generate the image so from here we can choose one of the image and use this image for our app so here let me give it as i'm choosing the first fav icon and use that one as file icon and app image for this app okay so i have chosen a, this one but now oh, here is showing up this message i have finished the building the travel itinerary planner app uh, here we can do the walkthrough so let me just open this so here are all the walkthrough of this particular app. Here are the implemented features are search and hero section, itinerary generation, the result di displays, and technical implementations or itinerary result day, plan, attraction, card, weather widgets. Okay. Uh, if you want to provide some of the commands to this walkthrough, you have to just click on wherever you want. And here you can see and you can type the command uh, in order to improve the app furthermore okay in order to preview this let me click on this open browser and it's asking me to install the extension so let me install the extension and let me add to the chrome so let me add the extension now the extension have been added inside my browser uh, now it's asking me to add it gravity would like to use the browser so let me click on setup so here is the app which we have built uh, here let me give it as paris and let me choose up with the ditch okay let me search so here are the planning uh your trip to paris so this is the weather forecast the packaging essentials so it have provided with the itinerary plan uh between these two dates here we have uh the places that can be visited the zeeval tower Laurel Museum, Rotary Dam and Cathedral. So it's working perfectly fine. Uh, if I click on download button, it have to provide me the PDF format. So let me give that uh, that prompt. So allow itinerary export to PDF or text. Let me give it. So based on the suggestion which I have provided, I hope it will allow me to download the PDF. So by the time, let's give them another conversation. So let us ask, uh, create a simple marketing a uh, website for this travel planner app okay we are, we are going to create a simple marketing website for this app let me send uh, meanwhile i hope it will create a a new website that is required for this app here in the inboxes you can find all the messages that is provided from the uh, different agents uh, these are all the agents that are doing their own work if there is any of the message from any of these agent those messages can be seen from the inbox okay uh, let me go to this app so let me click on view so here is the view and if you wish to change anything just click and drag and here 
uh, let me provide with change the background image so let me add the command so here we have provided with uh, changing the background and uh, it have to allow me to download the pdf file and also here it's uh, creating the marketing website let's go to this app so now inside this app uh, the image has been updated uh, let me give it as paris and let me choose the dates something here okay let me give the search it has given me with the all the plans okay and let me click on export pdf this pdf file has been downloaded and also we can able to see uh, we have chosen up with the fav icon right even the fav icon has been updated inside this web app uh, the marketing page which is created by this anti-gravity is not too much great so uh here so I have provided with a screenshot and I have said as I need like the one in the screenshot. Okay, let's see how it's working. Again, the marketing website of this travel planner is not working properly. So I have inspected the website. I have uh, gone to the console and copying this particular error. And I have gone to that particular agent. And I'm just copy that uh, error. Let me say that as I got this console error currently the website is not loading the styles it's loading like a html page without css so it's analyzing my prompt and doing the necessary changes and let me get, go here and let me reload this and again it's not sh it's not working properly so what i'm going to do now is let me take the screenshot of it and let me go to the anti-gravity and let me paste it here i have uh, mentioned about this one and it's uh, running based on that so here the tile vendor is installing now the agent is using the browser so we are going to check on the browser and now the website is working properly fine and it's looking very beautiful so just by giving the prompt the website has been created and let me click on search now and here it's showing me the uh, app let me type it as paris and let me select uh, one of the dates okay let me search so it's providing me with the, the itinerary plan and then i wish to export this pdf so let me export this pdf and let me view this so this was the pdf so it's working perfectly fine and coming back to this one I have uh, suggested to generate uh, one of the fav icon so the fav icon also have been created so by using this anti-gravity multi-agent we have created a beautiful marketing website of this travel planner app and even the app has been created we just need to give the location dates and we need to click for a search and also we can able to download the the pdf file of this itinerary plan Okay, so coming to the uh, agent manager, as we have already said, we in the inside the workspace, uh, we can create as much of workspace we need. And inside the workspace, uh, multiple tasks can be provided. So those tasks will be handled by different agents. So uh, instead of concentrating on only one task, uh, we can provide the multiple tasks in the anti-gravity. Here we can see all the files which is created by this anti-gravity. And if you want to go to the open edit you have to just click on this open editor here you can find all the bunch of uh, files uh, so i think this anti-gravity is a perfect thing if you want to 
create an app with a multiple task initially the pricing of this anti gravity is zero dollar so make use of it earlier in some point of time you need to provide the amount so just uh, download this one and make use of this anti gravity which is provided by the google so why this anti gravity matters it replaces slow and linear development with parallel development with multiple agents and when everything becomes parallel your speed multiplies if you're a developer designer or a freelancer you have to try anti gravity until it's free the speed and the power it's give to you is unbelievable